Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video and today we have the lovely Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger Cell Shaded Edition. A very weird one uh, to bring out. Um, I, I generally thought that we would get more. Um, like, are we going to get the rest of the team or is this particularly it? But I want to say a big thank you to a very good friend of mine for sending me this. This is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to see you inside because I'm very curious on how they've done the paintwork and stuff like that. So I want to say a big thank you to them for sending it to me. But let's jump straight in. So we've got this lovely cell shaded uh, photo or picture. It says cell shaded edition. So it's very different to the others. I would have kept it the same. So we have one thing I've noticed is this is the only way I think at the moment that I know of to get the closed blade blaster. Why haven't like Hasbro brought this out for all of them. I have no idea. Anyway, so we've got the translucent bow, arrow, three blade blasters. Again, easily done Hasbro to send it out. We have cell shaded there. We have the arrow accessory. It just says cell shaded edition. And then that's it. Just there. At the top's fine. At the bottom is there. But yeah, let's open up this bad girl and have a look inside. And if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like, hit the subscribe, turn on all notifications, as well as check out the merch. Let's just jump straight into it. And here is everything. Now, if they released all the lightning collection figures with all the accessories, I would love it. Like, I think for this one, you get everything from the blade blasters. You get the arrows, you get everything. And to me, this is 10 times better so why hasn't Hasbro actually thought, do you know what, let's carry on with this. And here is the Pink Ranger. Is it Kimberly? Is it Cat? Who knows? But here is the Pink Ranger. Now looking straight off the bat, I don't know why you have, like, it kind of worries me in a little bit, why you've got a little bit of kind of blue around there. Like, it doesn't need an effect on the visor, I think. And even when moving down here to like the, the head there, like I don't feel like you needed the black. I feel like the silver worked quite well. And it just feels like random kind of brush strokes here, there and everywhere, which again kind of makes me go, huh, why type thing. But even like here, like it just feels like it's just a different, there's not a lot of cell shading going to it. So like here or here, there's like, it, it feels like there should be more. But again, like the way you kind of think about, about it is like, it looks just like normally, like a normal figure. Like, I don't get it, but you've got uh, white here on the shoulder. You've got kind of gray just there. You've got the white triangle, which is fine, all the white diamonds. And then you've got the white there. It just feels like someone just gone push, 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 done. But even when looking at say like the hands here, Again, it's just blue. I, I don't, like it just feels it's a bit weird that to add kind of blue to this. So I don't know, maybe all the others are gonna be different. Then you got the blue that goes along here, as we can see there. And again, some more kind of on the hands just there. And moving down, we have more kind of like dark strokes around here. We also have the kind of white, like faded. Like I think I would have made these a bit more like whiter. I think it, it kind of works a bit more. Uh, and then you've got like kind of blue, and then you've got more kind of along there. And then when we look here at the boots, again, it's just a really random shade. Like someone's just got a Sharpie marker and gone, there we go, and that's it. Like, I don't think it needed whatsoever to have like random blue. It just really stands out. Like th this I can understand. Like white there, white going along the, the, the leg, as you can see, like kind of like the Thunderbolt. And then again, you've got the stripes. It, it just feels really weird for putting the like this blue. And it doesn't really feel cell shaded to me. It just feels like it's a mess. And again, it, this could literally have been the one to go, hey, guess what? We just need a pink ranger to, to kind of be released and that's it. Even looking at the back, it just again, you've got more kind of blue there as well as kind of blue there. And again, you've got white just on the leg there. Just to me, it just feels really kind of weird to, to kind of add this in. And you can see like here, again, it feels like just a Sharpie marker going duh, duh, duh. And there's no kind of real placement for this. Like they've not really modeled a 3D model on it to go, oh, this is how the color would be. I think when looking at the back, again, you can see you've got little bits there. You've got blue, you've got up, oh, 
you've got blue again here. And again, it just feels like this is randomly placed, even at the back of the helmet, where you could have had just like normal white, you could have done something slightly different. So it just seems like this is just a really quick way of reusing the mold and then repainting it so it could be done later. And that's how I kind of feel about it. It doesn't kind of add anything major to it. Let's look at the articulation. And for the main thing, the feet are very kind of weird. Like they're, they're taking a while to kind of adjust. It's not too bad. Like I feel like they're a lot more kind of like safe on this one. Then bending the knee like that just feels a bit kind of, it feels like the legs going off to one side. <laughs> why, why would you do that Hasbro? But you know, you can put them normally. Legs move normal like so. More, more articulation, uh, uh, or, yeah, more articulation kind of in the chest, which is great. So you could twist it around. I think that's the first time I've ever done that for these brands anyway. So arms move a bit, which is fine. And the hand turned around like so. I don't know why she's got a pointing hand like, yo. <laughs> So hand, like they're very kind of loose, like definitely not, like I'm guessing that's good for if you're doing stop motion, but I don't think so. So arms go all the way back. Let's turn it around. Just like that. So you can turn the head all the way around if you want, but to be fair, I don't know why you would. But yeah, that's not too bad for, for, for what you get. These are the accessories that you get. So this one I really do like, to be honest. I feel like this could be on the normal one. It just looks really, really nice. And I think adding, how do you add it? I think you can add it to the bow, like the arrow. So that's the arrow there, which again, just feels like it's just normal plastic, which I feel like you could just, it's cheap for what it is. Okay, so that doesn't really go and attach to it. Then you have the bow, very translucent for what it is. And obviously they've just copied it. So it does look like there would be more. So I wouldn't mind seeing like a Blue Ranger one because I think that would be kind of cool to see. But with looking at this, I think that you will get an entire range of cell shaded, but just looking at it right here, you, know, you can obviously add in the rest. Now this is the one that I think a lot of people want more than anything because they want the entire kind of closed blade blaster look, which I think looks absolutely fine. Why we haven't had this yet? Because obviously here it is open, perfect for what it is, but do we get it? No. And then again, you've got the blade mode, which works perfectly. So again, it's really weird how we've not had many of these. So I can see people buying loads of pink rangers just for this. So that's how they get you boys, that's how they get you. I will say that I forgot to bring in the hands. So you can see that there is kind of a purple, uh, purple, You can there's blue on it. But to be fair, these will just literally stay in the box. There's nothing on the other side to kind of do it. So yeah, they're just, just very plain and simple hands. And there we go, there is the Pink Ranger uh, in cell shaded. It's, I, I do like the paintwork, but I feel like some of the, like really random strokes are completely not worth it. I feel like you can have more of the like the faint white all over, but the blue is just kind of really weird to me. When kind of like looking over this, I kind of feel that, you know, th there could be more. I am really happy that you get all three blade blasters in different modes. I've got a feeling that if they wanted to do this again, that they would do. And I feel like that's a bit, bit crap if they did, but for what you get of her, I think it's really cool. The Blade Blaster, I think that the closed one could be t a bit smaller because even when looking at it, it just feels really off having it all the way in there and stuff like that. It, it just feels a bit weird, but I really do like the figure. I, I do think the cell shaded ones are quite nice. So I do kind of really want a lot more of them much later on because I think that it would be absolutely perfect to have in a complete team. I feel like if they just release this on its own, and she's the only one to have this. To me, it's a bit kind of pointless and why would you do that? 
So I feel like at some point we will get the rest of the Cell Shader team, which I'd be okay with. I, I know I'm not the biggest fan when it comes to it, but at least it'll be okay for, for what it is. I want to say a big thank you to my friend for sending this to me. This is absolutely amazing. And I want to say a big thank you again to just sending it to me because it is a nice figure. I do enjoy it. And hopefully one day I can <laughs> display it properly, but I do like it. And I hope the rest of the team, and this has now sparked me to buy the rest when they come out. But yeah, is there anything that I would probably change? Probably just make that version a little bit smaller because it doesn't, it, it, it feels weird. That's the only thing I can say. Apart from that, really do like the arrow. think it's the better one. Uh, I do think that they have said like on the hand here, like it's meant to be holding it, not pointing because when you look at the actual box of the figure, which is just, yeah, you can see it. Uh, you, you know what I mean, you can see it. I, it basically isn't holding it. It's not like an arrow hand. It's just a bit off. But apart from that, nice figure. I uh, can't wait to add more. Wish that they put it properly on the box, not in the same way where it's looking. But I'm going to leave it there. What are your thoughts? Do you like this figure? Do you not? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit subscribe, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Thank you very much for watching. And if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you in a couple of days. チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。